Hey, welcome to another video. In today's video, I want to continue talking about microservices and in particular, we're going to talk about service discovery and what's a big deal about it. Why do we need it? And what are technologies? So you probably heard about things like Zookeeper or etcd or console or surf, some sort of service discovery. But if you don't know what it is, it's kind of really simple. It's really an answer which you have to give to simple questions and problem. So how do you know if you have a microservice? How do you know what port and IP you should connect to? Like, it's actually pretty simple. And there's a um, technology is all this internet actually solving this problem called uh, DNS, right? When you connect to google.com, it actually know the IP, right? You call a domain server, which gives you an IP or a list of IPs you can connect to, right? And it is one of service discovery mechanisms you can actually use, right? You ac can actually use DNS. Now, um, typically a pure standard DNS is not enough in service discovery and we'll talk about it a bit later, but Let's go back to the problem. The problem here is how do we figure out the IP? And let's say we have here an avatar service and a user service. An avatar service provides some service that user service needs. And user service needs to find, hey, how do I connect so I can make those, let's say, HTTP calls to avatar service. So what typically happens is avatar service registers into service discovery, in some service discovery. And then user service calls the service discovery to discover the IP after that. And once it discovers the IP address, it can now connect to avatar service, right? And uh, as I mentioned, there's things like DNS service discovery, and uh, there's a bunch of technologies. So Spotify um, had this technology called SkyDNS, which actually uses service records, right? Because traditional DNS actually doesn't give you the port of the service, right? The SRV records added to DNS, they do actually have IP and port and Spotify, they built their own, at least I believe it's Spotify, they built their own service of DNS, right? We can register and register as quickly as possible and get those IPs, right? It's actually, I think, based on etcd, I don't remember exactly. Which basically exposes a DNS layer. So you can dig and you can understand, get the IPs, understand what are the services, right? It's nice because it's easy to set up in enterprise. It's not protocol, right? It's just a protocol. But then the TTL and caching can be an issue, right? In typical DNS, you have those caches, local caches, and they they can be days. And in microservice architecture, you might need to react. Oh, new machine spawn, yeah, I need to connect to it right, as quickly as possible. So it should be literally milliseconds, seconds, or like something really fast, not hours or minutes, like in traditional DNS, for example, that's not enough. Right? So. Containers, for example, they might not have a unique IP address. They might be in some NAT or some uh, other, right? you might need to bridge the container and things like this. So that's typically why you need multiple ports because you might have a same service on several different containers on several different ports because it has to be on several different machines and not, the same port is not available on all of the machines, right? And there's really, really much more to um, service discovery. I'll maybe cover in other videos if you're interested, but this is just to give you an idea of why we actually need service discovery. So there's things like Apache Zookeeper, Tuzer etcd, right? They are typically strongly consistent. It's a service which have their own protocols. You set it up on a the machine, they form strongly consistent um, clusters, right? And uh, they also optimized for high performance, right? For example, you might need 
a zookeeper so you can run your let's say kafka cluster right or i believe you used to have cassandra so for kafka cluster it actually uses zookeeper as a strongly consistent store for messaging of sets and things like this then there's a bunch of dns service discovery like sky dns smart stack eureka right and there's much more um, there's service mesh as well if you're interested I can talk about service mesh uh, later on as well and that's it for this video i uh, hope not too much again to summarize we are solving the service discovery problem just find the ip and find the port of a container of our machine of where your service is running and make sure it's fast enough so we can register unregister and uh, actually scale up and down our microservice as the traffic pattern goes up or down that's it thank you thank you for uh, watching this video and uh, please subscribe to this channel uh, it helps a lot and please comment if you have any specific questions or if you want me to talk about something else thanks